it's common knowledge that at some point the sun must die it is a lifespan of about 10 billion years and we're already heading toward 5 billion years in that brings up an important question what exactly is going to happen once the sun reaches its limit over time the sun slowly converts its original hydrogen supply into helium primarily by a process called the proton proton chain it will start dying the moment it uses up all of its hydrogen number 10 the greenhouse effect will become extremely effective one of the first things that will happen once the sun exhausts its hydrogen is that it will brighten a lot the brighter the sun gets the more of its energy the earth will receive with the sun working overtime the earth will become extremely hot causing water all over the world to evaporate and create a dense cloud in the atmosphere after enough time though the heat will become too much and the oceans will start boiling at this point it will be no longer possible for life to exist on earth if we're not dead by then we would certainly die from lack of water and excessive heat number nine the sun will expand not only will the sun become much brighter but it will also increase greatly in size once it uses up all of its fuel it will move on to the next phase in its life cycle the red giant phase the sun horizons will expand which will eat up planets like mercury venus and earth as well number eight and then it will shrink over time the sun will continue to change when it's through a fusing helium it won't be able to do the same with the carbon and it will finally shrink to a white dwarf white dwarfs have much less energy but what they do have is longevity these star remnants continue shining on for billions and billions of years until at some point far in the future they turn into dead black dwarfs number seven earth's orbit will change obviously by the time the sun dies everything on earth will be dead but that doesn't mean the planet won't still be moving once the sun reaches its red giant phase it will expand to at least three quarters the distance to earth you'd think our planet would burn to a crisp surprisingly the opposite happens as the sun expands closer to the earth the gravitational pull on earth and other nearby planets actually weakens this weakening causes these planets to spiral away from the sun and into safer orbits away from the brightened star number six life may form in other places although life on earth would be long gone by the time the sun becomes a red giant that doesn't mean it won't reappear elsewhere jupiter and saturn are both large planets with many moons which could be habitable number five our galaxy and the andromeda galaxy will merge the first meeting of our two galaxies will happen during the sun's death throes the milky way and andromeda galaxies are moving quickly toward each other at a speed of 402,000 kilometers per hour to be exact meaning there will be an inevitable collision it seems scary to think about two massive bodies slamming into each other but in reality our solar system including the sun will likely be fine number four the outer solar system will finally feel the heat the sun will become a lot larger and brighter once it starts to die this will cause nearby planets to turn into fiery waste islands 
But what about planets and dwarf planets, that are freezing far away? Take Pluto, for example. Once the edge of the Sun gets closer, it will be able to warm Pluto, and the other outer bodies up. This will change as the Sun shrinks into a white dwarf, but at least the outer solar system, will be able to have a bit of the Sun's warmth, before it dies forever. Number 3. Human life will definitely be impossible on Earth. Life may occur elsewhere, but it definitely won't be happening on Earth. Unfortunately, the surface of Earth will be way too hot, to even consider life being possible. Even if, we somehow create new anti-heat technology, it is unlikely, we would be able to grow anything to eat, or find water to drink. The internet will be long dead, along with every memory, we have of our Earth. Number 2. Asteroids won't make it far. We're used to the idea of asteroids, inhabiting our solar system. Yet, surprisingly, it is possible, that they'll face some trouble, once the Sun finally settles down, into its white dwarf phase. When Jupiter will adjust its orbits, it will disrupt the orbits of asteroids, even causing them to be thrown out of our solar system. They may also be pushed toward the white dwarf, or simply shredded to dust. Number 1. Humans could find another way to make it. It is hard to predict exactly, what kind of technology we might have in the future, but it's fun to imagine the possibilities. For all we know, at some point before our time is up, we may create a way to travel to faraway planets. We know of places that could be habitable, so if it came down to it, we could try some of them out. In the news, NASA is already working on a mission to Mars. Many other companies have advertised, trying to be the first to colonize the Red Planet. If such a mission were to succeed, it could be revolutionary for the future of the human race. Even though, the end of the Sun may seem like the end of life as we know it, we could be wrong. For all we know, our minds could take us farther into the universe, than we could possibly imagine.